Hi, this is Saw Cell Video Productions, and I'm your host, John. This is episode number 168, How to Install a Hot Water Heater Disconnect. This is the method of connection on the water heater. It's connected by Romex coming out of the wall, which is a code violation. You cannot have exposed Romex. The connector is gray, plastic and sometimes they can be used, sometimes they can't. It's a gray area. But what I'm going to attempt to do is fish this Romex up the wall to where we have access to it by three feet for the three foot rule and then run my wire feed down to the hot water feed. But first I'm going to uh, check for power and turn that off before we get started. Power is off and disconnected. We're now going to drill a hole right there and try to fish this wire up through there. Sometimes a fish tape comes in very handy. We now mount the box. Before we mount the box, we need to put in a little bushing. So there's no chafing on the wire. Okay, the box is mounted. The wires are on the line side, which are the inside. The outside lugs are the load side. You notice that there's bare copper for the ground, which was used in the Romex, but we cannot use that in the new whip because of the dissimilar metals code. So, this wire has to be replaced with THHN braided green. All the necessary connections are made on the line and load side and the conduit is fastened. Now to connect the load side. We have a bit of a dilemma here because we have braided wire which you cannot wrap around a screw. So we have one of these. Using an approved crimper, we crimp on the connector with the Kung Fu Death Grip. You can now connect that to the ground screw. And then you have this little knock out here, which accommodates the ground. And we lock this on down. I'm going to go outside and turn the power on and test the power to the newly connected disconnect. But there you have it. All the way to the new disconnect. Fastened, grounded, and properly connected. And we're at 238 nominal. And you notice it says on or off and on. So, depending on how that's turned is whether it's on or off. So that would be off and that would fit up above that. But we're going to put it in the on position and when you put these in you want to kind of put them in gently because they don't always line up real good and then you just give them a good pop. Can't say I'm crazy about the way they put these dead fronts in, but that's how they design them, and that's how they go. So, with it on, I said gingerly, and then give it a good pop. There we have it. Hot water heater, disconnect, fully installed, up to code, and ready for inspection. I'd like to remind the viewer that this is for informational purposes only. 
or for the use of novice electricians that are trying to learn certain aspects of the trade. Please do not attempt this yourself if you're not a qualified electrician. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day.